Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland. It's the 20th of February today and that's just a perfect time to pot up dahlias. So that's what I'm going to do in the greenhouse today. I'm going to pot up these wonderful dahlias that I bought just a few days ago and um, just run through a few basic things with you. But besides the dahlias, what I'm also going to pot up is the ones that I overwintered myself in the greenhouse. So these are giant monsters that have been here for the duration of the winter just to keep them frost free. Now for this one, for the decent sized one, we'll start with that first lovely one called Christine. Uh, water lily type dahlia, my absolute favourite. We'll just open it up and have a look at the tuber. And the first thing we need to work out is which way up to plant it. And it's kind of obvious because there's a bit of a stem at the very top, which is where last year's flower came from. And in this particular case, you can see I have new shoots there and there. So these are definitely going to be at the top. When choosing dahlias, always look out for ones that are actually shooting in the packets. I'm going to first of all start off by putting some earth into this pot here. This pot should accommodate that dahlia very nicely. And I'll start off by putting about, I don't know, two thirds of compost at the base of the pot. Okay, now the compost I use is just ordinary multi-purpose compost. Dahlias are so unfussy, it's unreal. So that should do it. Coming up here, I'm now going to place my dahlia on this bed of compost. And now bringing it down again to the compost, we'll fill it up to the top. There's a lot of talk about how deeply you should bury your dahlias but you know I'm going to plant these out in the garden at a later stage and at that stage I might choose to bury them a bit more deeply if needs be. So I'm just firming not too much around the side and being aware that the top of the dahlia tuber has some shoots on which I don't want to break off and that's that. Now we're looking at a dahlia that I overwintered last year and you can see it's a much bigger brute. And sometimes when you take them up what you might find is that you have some traces of mould. You see these smaller tubers have actually become mouldy. Uh, however it hasn't spread too much, this is still good and clean. So what I'm going to do in this case is just snip off the bits that have mould on them. turning this over. This depleted one here. And then just in terms of um, tidying this up, a job you can do in autumn if you like, but this is last year's stem. I'm just going to reduce it in size. That'll just make it easier to pot. And you can see at the end of all the tubers there are so many remnants of last year's roots which I'll just take them off. I mean last year's roots are dead. We are going to rely on the plant to grow some new ones so we don't need these anymore. Here we have some very shriveled pseudobulbs and I think there's a touch of mould on that as well so I'm just going to take this out. If you have very small pseudobulbs you can cut them off. At this stage the tuber is nicely tidied up and it's ready to be potted but what you must also sometimes find when you go to pot up your dahlia tubers in spring is that the pseudobulbs have completely shriveled and I'll show you what to do in that case. Sometimes it happens when you take your dahlias out of a bag that you find one has really shriveled up like this. It's become dehydrated over the winter and it's very unfortunate because this can't grow. So what I do is pop them in a bowl of lukewarm water with a little tomato food and hopefully if I leave it there for a day or two it'll plump up again and I can plant it out in the normal way. 
I've put my tuber into the pot and now I'm just going to backfill with compost. Now in this particular case you can see that the tuber doesn't quite fit in the pot. It's going to sit proud and the reason for that is that with this particular one it's called Kim Wilo and it's a lovely dahlia and I plan on propagating it before I actually plant it out in the garden. So if I just um, fill it up with soil there <clears throat> and firm down And you can see that the tuber is sitting proud of the soil and that just gives me the flexibility to remove new shoots and propagate the dahlia in that way at a later stage. When I plant this out in the garden I will actually bury it up to um, this point but for the moment I'm just given a bit of flexibility. Now I'm going to water my dahlia tubers once and tuck them in a corner of the greenhouse. I'm lucky I have a greenhouse and it's the perfect place to put them at this time of year. They need a bit of warmth so they really shouldn't go outdoors just yet but I keep mine in the greenhouse until June when they can be planted out and um, if you have enough space to put these in the house well that's grand too. Now when these dry out I'll water again but I will make sure that they dry out between each watering. So this is the one for propagation. If it propagates if it puts up the shoots in enough time and this is the one that I'm just going to plant out in the garden in June. When the shoots come up here I'll only need three or five shoots. This is a big dahlia tuber so five shoots will be the maximum that I'll have in this otherwise they get a bit crowded so I can easily take off any excess that um, that turns up and then have other tubers for next year. And that's the end of my video on dahlia potting in spring. I hope you liked it. I hope you find it useful. And do check back to see how these dahlias do later on in the season. Happy potting!